This is a quick tutorial on how to use Acorn to create a fancy little cogwheel. The first thing we're going to do is change some preferences to make things easier for us later on. Choose Acorn Preferences and click on the Advanced tab. We want to make sure that when drawing shapes, keep selected for editing is checked and auto select layers is unchecked. Next thing we're going to do is go to View, Guides and Grids and make sure Snap to Canvas is checked. Now we're going to choose the star tool. Click and drag on the canvas to draw out a star. Use keyboard shortcut V to quickly select the move tool to reposition your shape in the center of the canvas. This is where Snap to Canvas is helpful. Now increase the number of star points from five to nine by dragging on the on canvas control. Now add a circle. Hold down the shift key while dragging out your circle to make a perfect circle. Switch to the move tool and position the circle in the center of the canvas. Now select both shapes using keyboard shortcut Command A. Bring up the quick config popover using keyboard shortcut Backtick key. Choose the union path operation which will combine the two shapes into one. Then hit escape. Next thing we're going to do is create another circle. Be sure to hold down the shift key while creating it. Let's go ahead and turn the fill off and a stroke on so we can see what's going on better. And use the move tool to position the circle. Let's make the circle just a little bit bigger. Right about there looks good. Now we're gonna select all the shapes, bring up the quick config popover, and this time we're going to choose the intersect path operation. And hit the escape key. Now we have one more circle to create. and drag the circle to the center of the canvas. Select all the shapes. Choose the quick config popover. And this time choose the exclude path operation and hit the escape key. Now let's go ahead and check the fill box, uncheck the stroke. And we have a pretty nice looking cogwheel, but let's make it a little more fancy by clicking on the filter button and selecting a drop shadow. We'll just change some of the parameters a little bit. So there you go. We have a fancy cogwheel.